Good morning and welcome to day 13 of Indie Pack. We've got a lovely sunrise here, courtesy of Mango Rider, aka Ben Griffith. He's currently 3000k into the race and doing really well for himself. Back to the front of the race and Christoph Allegar has gone over the top of Mike Hall in a big way. He's 183k ahead after that big effort from Mike Hall yesterday to take the lead. It was all for nothing because uh, Christoph Allegar is still in the march on him now. And he's only, let's see, just over 400k from Sydney. So I reckon in the next, mm, let's see, I'm going to say 30 to 36 hours, I reckon Christoph will be at the finish line. And again today we've had a few more people drop out. Mitchell Luke has gone. No results yet to say why. And sadly... Beth Dunn, remember I said a couple of days ago I thought she went out around the same time as Seb. Well, she's definitely out now and she's citing the reason to fatigue. Another one of our race favourites, Loki, not called Loki, I've been corrected, Loki Kavanagh. Um, so, big whoosh of air from a road train, knocked me off my bike, the right side handlebar is now bent. And he's also bust up his knee as well. So he says, my knee is completely busted, it doesn't look swollen or bruised, but the tendons are pretty sore, I can barely walk in it, it started hurting all of a sudden while I was riding. If anyone knows any quick fixes, please let me know. Yep, yeah, put some ice on it, that's probably a good shout. And someone else has said, IT band stretches, always a good one I find. Okay, Facebook smash. So that's Christoph up ahead, and it looks like the rain has come in. And that's expected to be with him all the way to the finish. This guy's having a bit of a laugh. I've triangulated the positions of the three top riders. Offers no useful insight into the race at all. Someone's put, oh dear, looks like lack of sleep is catching up with the dot watchers, I'd say. This is our second placed Brit on the road, Mike Sheldrake, aka Shell. Pit stopping at McDonald's there. More talk of the bad weather from the Rafa media bus. And look at those dark clouds, wow. So this guy and his crew are rolling into Adelaide. Maven went live this morning as he got a, a bunch of welcome into Adelaide City. And his lead out into the centre, he said he was going to eat lots of burgers. Ten burgers, one of everything, he said. And good news, Ben Hurrens, the guy who helped Owen Marshall out a few days ago, that was the guy that had the nasty, nasty car crash. Ben Hurrens had retired from the race, but he's returned. He's done his duty of helping a mate out, and he's back in. That was yesterday, reported yesterday. He's back on it. Let's see what he's doing over on Instagram, because he's got a pretty cool Instagram feed. Oh, Ben Hiran Man. It's funny because if you block off the H it says Iron Man. Mm. Ben says thank you so much. You are awesome and it must be nice to be riding along and getting a little bit of love from the fans. This is a photo of Owen Owen Marshall. Ben says I'm gonna miss this desert fashionista. We were really clicking into gear. Oh, was there a bit of a bromance going on there? He goes on to say, however, Given that he is being really well looked after, I'm going to get back on my bike and try to get to Sydney. Go Ben. Okay, who else do we know who's on Instagram? Let's do an IPWR search. We've seen that before. We've seen a, we've seen a few of these before. Um, ah, okay, so this story is really, really funny. This is what I wanted to show you. So this is Jackie Chickadee. So I think this is um, Jackie Bernardi. And she had a nightmare in the night while she was pitched up in her tent. And she went straight through the wall of a tent and cut a big hole in the side of it in a desperate effort to get out. I guess that is what fatigue does to you. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. That's just a picture of someone wishing Ben luck. It looks like he's doing a bit of a calf stretch there or picking a stone out of his, his cleats, one of the two. Another funny one, someone has said that Christoph looks like Jensi, that's Jens Voigt, 
Um, yeah, I guess he kind of does. I think he looks like Bradley Wiggins, especially see when you see him in kind of time trial position on the arrow bars. I really think he looks like looks like Wigo. Maybe he's a a love child of both of them. If Wigo and Yancy had a clone made, there is at least one other guy we know who has a Instagram page. It is Rhino. Let's see what antics he has been up to. So just one more pace, post since the rhino shot, and look at that. A load of kids have come out to meet him, and he said, Coming through our first major city since leaving Fremantle, it was incredibly humbling to see so many supporters outlining the streets, cheering on the Indy Pack races. I had the honour of bumping into a few mini rhinos climbing out of Adelaide. Thank you so much to Treads Bike Shop for giving the, special, the speckled princess a serious tune-up. Thank you to my special wizards from something CC, a cycling club, for the Royal Escort out of town. Okay, we're nearly done for the day, but we couldn't leave without saying hi to Juju. So over on her f Facebook page, she says that not only did those nice truckers throw us some chews, but this guy, Rob, drove all the way from Kaigurli to give me some tubes. Can you believe that? Unreal. And someone's put, before you know it, Jesus will come to Jesus with a bicycle. On his back, there's the truckers from yesterday, and if we keep going, keep going, yet we get to this post. So this was the foam fix. Um, Travis is drinking at the bar in Kaguna and goes, hey, you're back. He hears about my bike, troubles, and says, ah, no worries, we'll get you back on the road in no time. He pulls out a kind of foam, tyre sealant, and voila, I am back. What a superstar, Travis. Well, that got her going, I guess. It didn't last for too long, so it deflated again. But at least she's got plenty of tubes now. Okay, that's all I've got for today. Thank you for joining me once again to watch the Indian Pacific Wheel Race. I hope you're enjoying the race as much as I am. It's been a real treat to spend uh, the past... 12 days or so with these guys at the Indy Pack and also with you guys. Thanks for all your lovely comments. Some people have left some really, really nice things down below and it's, it's really spurred me on um, to keep the content going. Remember, uh, I'll be back tomorrow and the day after and the day after that until the race is over. So if you like what you see, subscribe down below and I'll keep bringing you more Indy Pack videos.